what do you think? What What about the the black community, the minority community, uh, blacks and browns? Right. You talked about your Asian community. You talked about Jewish community. What about our community? What's your thoughts on our community? Yeah. So speaking of which, uh, I, I'm glad Angela's not holding it too much against me. Mm-hmm. But my daughter was one of the judges at the Jamaican Jerk Fest a couple <laughs> weeks ago, and I'm not going to mention uh, how that ended up playing out. <laughs> I thought there was a lot of talents on your plate that day. Thank you. Uh, at the at the celebrity cook off. He asked you about black people and that's no, no, what comes no, to your no, mind. No, no, no. Jamaican listen, jerk chicken. I'm, no, I was just saying we were together at the Jamaican Jerk Fest a couple weeks ago <laughs> with, with Angela in Jamaica. <laughs> Terrible segue. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, that's when I was with I was with Angela. Okay. At the uh, in Jamaica together. No, 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 the only reason I asked is because earlier you talked about Asian community and you. Yeah, talked no, no, about no. I, I understand. But I feel like our community always gets left. Well, no, out, that's so. what I'm saying. Like the most important thing is to show up. So. You know, like for example, that's one of the examples mm-hmm. is, you know, a couple of weeks ago we were together and there was an amazing turnout. I don't know how many folks were there, maybe like 15, 17, 18, 20,000 people showed up in Queens uh, for that event. Uh, I was at you know, a few days back, the National Night Out back in Southeast Queens, sitting down with black pastors and their first ladies in Sunnyside. I was in uh, Harlem just a few days ago, actually doing a press conference Um we were it, it, we're in that community multiple times. I remember I had a debate. It was Juneteenth, and they were asking me like, "What are you going to do to you know show up and work with the black community?" I was like, well, "Actually, I just came here from Harlem that day." Um, I co-chair the Congressional Caucus on Black Jewish Relations. I uh, created the caucus with uh, John Lewis, W. Wasserman Schultz, Deborah Lawrence, and Will Hurd. Uh, the relationship between and I'm Jewish. Um, I believe that the relationship between the Jewish community and the black community is historically misunderstood. Uh, you have had rabbis and other Jewish leaders marching with Martin Luther King and other civil rights leaders and liberating concentration camps in World War II. An all-black uh, battalion was the most decorated battalion going the furthest east and liberating Dunskirchkin. So the, the relationship's misunderstood. The most important thing if you want to earn someone's support is to show up. Uh, and to be able to talk to them about the issues that matter most. But so if you think about what we were talking about earlier, from education, kids stuck in multi-generational poverty, stuck in poor performing schools, they should have access to that high quality charter school. They should be able to get a higher quality education than they're getting right now. To stay in school, to be able to succeed in life, have a good paying job waiting for them after they go. Uh, I believe that you know, as far as the, the system goes, we were talking earlier about one veteran who was released too early. There are... There are people who they end up getting caught on the wrong end of the law and that the the system itself kind of keeps them trapped in in that. And it's a it's it's a pipeline to prison inside of our schools. That's what you know has been spoken to me about the concern about some well, we, of these schools. We know, we know all of this already. Like you're saying, yeah, I haven't heard you know. say what you're going to do. We yeah, well, this, and that's the reason why a lot education. of us don't mess with politicians because we we know all this already. We, yes, yes, it's no, but education up, it's is important. But like you know, how do we fix these problems? You know, uh, minorities can't get homes, right? Because we, we can't get. We can't get loans. And then if we do get homes and we try to sell our homes, we're in the lowest interest rate because we're black. You know, our education is messed up. We know we can't get books. We can't get supplies. You know that, you know, they pull us over way more than anybody mm-hmm. else. You know, the marijuana, we've been affected by marijuana and cannabis the most. And it's harder for us to get a license for marijuana and cannabis. So it gets to the point where how do we help? You know what I mean? And I get it. You you judge Angelique's Jamaican Jerk fest, chicken. But that, that doesn't help no, us. Well, I'm, in the no, you've been, you been to Harlem. That's great. No, all right, no, no, no. So my, my point. What's the legislation? 